Well, shit. It's up and running, folks. Gave it a name that's fitting for its character. <laughs> yeah, you know what? The whole device hinges upon this very advanced mechanism here, which keeps the top portion from falling down and collapsing upon other components, stopping the fan, ultimately causing the entire device to overheat. But with the addition of this very advanced piece of technology, it functions flawlessly and hovers at a very cool temperature. Crunching numbers, crunching prices, um, and figuring out all of that stuff. So, what's up, everybody? Let's do a little unboxing and let's see exactly what it is that we got in the mail, folks. All right. Box numero uno. We got a Intel Core i7. Okay, we got a SFX series 600 watt. This is going to be the power supply. Okie dokie. We got our uh, GPU, Zotac GeForce GTX 1050 Ti. I ended up going with this edition because Low profile, super compact. We got our solid state drive. Here's the motherboard. Maximus what is that? V triple I eight. Yeah, it's eight. Uh, the impact. Woo -woo! Here we go. Fan. And this is our other temperature controlling device Silverstone Tundra series super slim all-in-one cooler TDO3 dash slim So if you're watching this video, I'm asking you not to be too critical. This is going to be my first ever build. First ever. Um, I'm like pretty savvy in the operations of computers um, and in a lot of technology and tools. But in regards to actually like manufacturing and stuff like that, I'm not like Iron Man or, you know, like Tony Stark. I'm not going to go out in the wilderness and, you know, Minecraft all these parts and then and then, you know, like put together a computer out of the minerals that I harvest from the earth. I'm pretty much just following a step-by-step -step instruction um, guide, which I'm pretty good at doing, so. All right, and then, uh, other than that. We have the monitor here. The VX248 LCD monitor, Asus. I decided to go with something that had some speakers. Um, they're probably pretty low quality and they'll honestly I'll probably be using headphones anyways. But it's just like, I've been using a laptop for so long, I just take for granted that everything's just in the laptop. You know, speakers, um, mouse, 
keyboard, you know, all that stuff, uh, microphone, everything, um, you know, that I would need is kind of all in one. And so it's like, I kept forgetting about all these little, you know, additional things that I might want as I was doing this. And the monitor was one of them, but we got it. And I'm gonna actually wait to open that up until um, I put, you know, everything together. Um, all this other stuff is still in, you know, another box. So I'm pretty comfortable just um, leaving it in this until I get to the actual build section of the video. I'm guessing this is the keyboard. We got the Poseidon Z from uh, uppercase, lowercase T sports. I've grown pretty accustomed to having my whole keyboard light up. I've had like a MacBook forever now. And so I saw this one had, you know, backlit keys. And so I was like, all right, give me snag. And then here we go. Here's my RAM. Uh, Corsair Vengeance LPX DDR4, 2 times 8 gigabytes, 300 megahertz. I need to resharpen my knife. The knife is like the only like legitimate weapon that I've ever been able to justify myself on readily carrying. No matter what I'm doing throughout the day, it seems like I always come into situations and circumstances which a knife would be very handy. You know, regardless of like the potential for it to be used as a weapon, it's just a, an amazing tool to have on you. So, you know, if you're thinking, oh man, how come you invested so much? And it's like, you, uh, it's like you really just limited what it is that you could do, um, by like the specific type of build that you're doing. And you possibly could have done something for a little bit cheaper and maybe a little bit more powerful. You know, I do things because it's like, that's what I'm feeling. And, uh, you know, obviously you have to be really like interested and motivated to even attempt doing a project like this. And you know, a lot of the things that motivate me are possibly things which maybe don't motivate you. You know, the aesthetics. You know, the aesthetics. You know, the aesthetics. Um, the specific type of build. Um, and just, you know, the overall process of doing something a little bit different. Um, but still being capable of doing what I want in the long run, you know, um, kind of connecting with the mainstream, but then, you know, a little bit of an offshoot having my own personality. And so that's kind of why I ended up deciding to do this, this build. Um, and here's the case. So, uh, box is a little battered, but that's why it comes in a box, I guess. And this is the iMagic Pi. Mini IPX PC case. It's gonna look like a, a round, uh, big old speaker, in my opinion, or subwoofer. People call it trash can. But, and it looks like they sent us with a little sticker. Maybe I'll put this on my, uh, I don't know. I'll find somewhere to put this. So yeah, there we have it. Um, I'm gonna check over all of my parts now that I did this initial unboxing, make sure that everything's here. And if um, I have everything that's required to, you know, have the process move along smoothly, then, uh, you know, I'll get to it tomorrow. Um, it's been a long day. I'm still rendering a lot of files from my most recent project that I hope I can get finished tonight so that I can start on this project tomorrow. Anyways, thanks for joining me, and as always, um, peace out, y'all. What's up, everybody? Finally got all my stuff, went and checked and made sure that I had everything. And uh, cleaned off the best workspace possible, given the area that I'm at right now, which is a pretty much a college apartment. So this is like the best place I could find. I'm gonna cut up this cardboard box.
and put it over the top of this um, hard surface just as a little extra for protection. Um, everybody seems to be, you know, most concerned about static discharge and frying the components while you're installing them, you know, as you build up static. However, in this environment, I actually haven't, you know, experienced a moment of static discharge yet where, um, you know, I'm touching something metallic and I'm um, having, a, you know, getting shocked. Um, and uh, so I'm just gonna make a little bit of a, a cleaner, better surface than this like Deseret Industries table and then we're gonna get to work on putting it all together. So enjoy the video. Got this off today And maybe everyone feels fake Somewhere I lost a piece of me Smoking cigarettes on balcony So I bought these like uh, instant oatmeal dinosaur things where the eggs melt away or dissolve away and they like have actual dinosaurs and you know I thought it was going to be a lot like that macaroni that you buy, which comes in like shapes, but when you open up the package and make it, they look nothing like the actual characters or what they market on their box. But I've actually been quite surprised with this oatmeal. So if you look in here, this is obviously a stegosaurus and it actually resembles what it looks like on the package. Amazing folks. But I can't do this alone. Sometimes I just need a light. If I call you on the phone, and you're on the other side. So when your tears fall down, go feel like a river. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. When you're shrinking, but they only hear you whisper. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. So this project was literally like one of the most tedious and frustrating things I've ever done. Like, uh, it was just such a new experience for me, you know, like the connections and everything like that were types of connections that I was so unfamiliar with. You know, for example, like looking at the manual, which is like battered and torn by now because of how much I've you know looked through it and browsed through it only to find nothing in regards to what it is that I'm I'm looking for you know um, I took forever installing the CPU and that was just the most frustrating thing ever and then like 
connecting the fans was like it was so odd to me trying to like connect all of these things like looking at the manual I just thought it would be like a lot more detailed than that like you know put it in there exactly like this I mean it shows like some positive and negative and some things will only fit into certain spots you know but it's just kind of like okay this seems like fit right here I'm gonna put it in and um, like I can kind of vaguely make out that they have in small font like EXT fan you know external fan or something like that and then like um, it came with like a fan extension card and you know connecting all of those together or um, finding out exactly how to connect the thermal sensor connector and uh, like referring back to this diagram and then seeing on there that it says sensor in and then ground but then like like looking at the two prongs coming up and I, I can't see any like characters on the actual circuitry to give me some sense of orientation as to where the positive and negative ends go you know um, just a bunch of stuff like that you know just so unfamiliar territory to me um, you know I definitely feel like it was like a steep learning curve you know um, like a long and arduous climb um, I could definitely climb it a lot easier the second time around now that I've you know spent my fair share of time going over and over and reading things and then putting it together and then you know only putting it together wrong after I sat there and made sure to read it five times so that I wouldn't do that you know type of thing and then uh, booting it up and having it overheat and then you know reconfiguring all my fans and um, putting the case like on upside down thinking I had to bend a certain section and then bending it all off kilter and then you know putting it back in place and then just being like all right well it just has a lot of character you know just like its creator here's something else that's kind of cool and might tell you a little you know bit about how old-fashioned I have actually become you now get windows on a thumb drive You know, I'm guessing that, you know, for the extent of all my gaming and everything like that, I'm literally just going to be downloading digital files. Um, CD drives, I guess, are pretty much obsolete. Two, six, eight, D, three. Critical alert from Microsoft. Your computer has alerted us that it is infected with the virus and spyware. This virus is sending your credit card details, Facebook login, and personal emails to hackers remotely. Please call us immediately at the toll-free number listed so that our support engineers can walk you through the removal process over the phone. If you close this page before calling us, we will be forced to disable your computer to prevent further damage to our network. Error number 268D3. Critical alert from Microsoft. Your computer has alerted us that it is infected with the virus and spyware. This virus is sending your credit card details, Facebook login, and personal emails to hackers remotely. Please call us immediately at the toll-free number listed so that our support engineers can walk you through the removal process over the phone. If you close this page before calling us, we will be forced to disable your computer to prevent further damage to our network. Error number 268. D3. Critical alert from Microsoft. Your computer has alerted us that it is infected with the virus and spyware. This virus is sending your credit card details, Facebook log. Critical alert from Microsoft. Your computer has alerted us that it is infected with the virus and spyware. This virus is. Jeez, the one thing I don't miss about Max.